this episode of Air Gun Reporter, we're going to take a look at the Camo It Camouflage Kit by wrapping this Evonix Conquest in some high-tech vinyl material. The tube shown here was labeled as an air gun kit and contains enough material to cover the stock, barrel shroud, the high-pressure air bottle, and even a scope. Also in the tube was an instruction sheet, two foil-wrapped alcohol wipes, and a disposable trimmer with snap-off blades. Now, the instructions were rather vague, and for reference, I went to the manufacturer's website, which has a link to a helpful video from our air gun friend across the pond, Terry Doe. In the video, he visits the Big D Sign Shop, which I believe is the headquarters for Camoit. In Terry's video, a Daystate Air Ranger with a walnut thumbhole stock gets the camouflage treatment. So in that spirit, I'll be wrapping my 22 caliber Conquest, which has a similar stock. Before you begin, make sure your work surface is clean and free of dust and debris. My presentation table is pretty banged up from all the repairs, tune-ups, and modifications I've performed on air guns over the last few years, but the keyword is clean. Have all your tools and materials ready for the job, and be prepared to spend a few hours on this project. You'll need isopropyl alcohol, clean rags, tools for removing the stock, a hair dryer or a heat gun, and plenty of patience. The next step for me was to remove the stock, trigger guard, butt plate, and then unscrew the barrel shroud from the action. My goal is to cover the bottle, shroud, and stock. The breech has a matte finish, so I'll be leaving that part uncovered. I keep my guns clean and oiled with Ballistol and CLP, therefore I had to remove as much as I could from the surface by using the isopropyl alcohol and plenty of clean rags. I started with the easy parts first, just to get a feel for how the material handles. The edges of the vinyl piece I chose for the shroud were a bit wavy, so I trimmed them clean and straight. I rolled the shroud in the material and made a tick mark with a pencil. Make sure to add some overlap when measuring. The Camoet camouflage kits are available in three different patterns. The pattern I used is called Wild Tree, and it has kind of a grain running vertical, so I made sure it was oriented correctly before I measured and cut. The material is not aggressively tacky, so if you have to reposition it, just apply a little bit of heat and you can lift it off carefully. The trick is to burnish the vinyl down in small sections using your fingers only. If you make a wrinkle along the way, just lift that section up and press it back down slowly to remove it. The material is a breathable vinyl, which means that any air bubbles you encounter can be pressed out with your fingers. No need to pop them with a straight pin. I put just a little bit of heat on the vinyl to make it more workable as I roll the shroud. Just make sure not to overheat the material or it becomes unworkable until it cools down. Once it was covered, I put some heat on it to set the material and then burnish down the overlap section. When you're trimming with the cutter, make sure you angle the blade away from the parts, otherwise you may cut into them. All right, those were the easy parts. Now on to the stock where you really have to take your time and do things patiently and strategically. Clean the stock thoroughly with alcohol to remove as much surface oil and fingerprints as you can. Don't skimp on the cleaning cloths, use as many as it takes. Then give the stock a few minutes to rest until the alcohol evaporates. I followed the instructions in the Camowit video and started with small pieces to cover the trigger guard area, the end of the forestock, and the grip. These sections will be overlapped when I put the large side pieces on next. The trick to applying this material is to use a combination of low heat, stretching, and plenty of burnishing with your fingers. All right, the moment of truth, covering the sides of the stock with vinyl. Once I had the material positioned, I burnished it down on the large, flat parts first, then worked on the more detailed areas. Then I trimmed the material, leaving enough to wrap over the top and bottom of the stock. Well, of course, the thumb hole was the trickiest section. I used the heat gun until the material began to sag, then pressed gently with my fingers. 
After cutting away some vinyl, I made a few relief cuts I repeated the process for the other side of the stock and I felt like I was getting closer to finishing up the project. The wild tree pattern blends pretty well on the overlap section so there's no need to make precise cuts. From start to finish the project took me about two hours and I'm impressed at how good the wild tree pattern is at concealing the seams and overlaps. Only time will tell how durable the vinyl is when used in the field but overall, I believe it's a quality material that's guaranteed not to damage the surface of wood and metal parts should you want to remove it at some point. With some patience and basic craft skills, I believe the camo -it kit offers a good alternative to the adhesive back camouflage tapes that can sometimes leave residue when removed. For Airgun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, please shoot safe and have fun. Please remember folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious harm if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at another person. Parents, if you teach your children to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment.